what's what's going to be really interesting is because of all the stuff going on around the world, we now have the Fed's like basically the general perception is this. I talked about this on a video on Sunday. The Fed is still going to raise rates, but instead of a baked in 05 percent, half a percent increase, I think they call it BIPs, 50 BIPs. That's like half a percent. Instead of a 50 bit move, it's only going to be a 25 bit move. So it's it's only going to be um, half of what it was. Now, this half a percent move has already been baked into the market. And so mm-hmm. that's what's really fascinating here is we're going to see what happens. I was watching some economists over the weekend. Uh, yes, I watch economists, believe it or not. And they were talking about how basically for Jerome Powell to save face and still keep some semblance of an operating Federal Reserve with any level of credibility, he's got to raise rates at least 1% over this year. They were talking about seven rate hikes before all this happened. I think it was seven they were talking about. And if you started the first one with half a percent, how high was it going to go up? You know, we don't really know, but they're still going to probably raise the rates. I would have said last week when this started unfolding, I didn't think that was going to be the case. That shows you how bad of a situation we are in with inflation right now. But when you talk about what George showed, where it says 10 months after the rate hike is when things start to go down. What's really interesting is because of the way this world event orchestra has played out, the first rate raise, the first rate hike is going to be soft. It's going to be softer than it was going to be. So because of that, there's going to be built-in hopium and optimism that this year is not going to be as bad as they forecasted. That sets in motion the process for maybe 10 months of the prices continue to go up. Inflation continuing to go, uh, well, I don't know about inflation, but money printing continuing. Uh, they're going to try to you know, stop the, the rate of inflation, but basically 10 months for this to go back into the tank. And it, it looks like to me that's shaping up to where next year is possibly going to be uh, you know, really, really bad. And if that's the case, that certainly opens up the door. Look, if gold is going up, why would Bitcoin not be going up? Like if, if people are seeing a value in hedging their assets, why would Bitcoin not go up along with it? 